Hello friends, in this tutorial I am going to come up how to install and configure Sabix monitoring server on CentOS 8. Sabix is an enterprise class uh, open source monitoring solution. Newly released uh, Sabix monitoring solution empowered with uh, unlimited capabilities monitoring any IT device in the house which allows you to keep eye on any kind of IT infrastructure, services, applications and uh, resources you will get the ability to monitor any performance metrics and incidents in your network such as power status system status epu usage memory usage network bandwidth usage and many more for this tutorial i will going to install sabic 4.4 using a yum distribution package for centos and uh, red hat enterprise linux okay uh, let's get started uh, before that uh, before the installation begins we have to do some configuration prerequisites first of all we need to set a fully resolvable host name uh, to do so let's head over to uh, etc host etc host name file open up the file and enter the host name we will exit then let's head over to etc hosts file and uh, enter your fully qualified domain name here okay then save and exit as the next step we need to install latest epel repository this will install uh, latest epel release to do the yum update at the moment uh, i don't have any updates available okay now let's head over to etc say linux config in here we need to configure say linux uh, setting to permissive mode you can see here say linux in currently in uh, enforcing mode so i'm going to change it to permissive mode then uh, we need to uh, do a restart after the system reboot we're going to install apache gtpd web server on our uh, Sabix host then we need to allow HTTPD uh, service uh, through the firewall uh, so I am going to allow port 80 uh, for Apache service through the system firewall the same way uh, I'm going to add my server port Relo reloading the firewall now we can uh, enable Apache service and restart. Okay, it's running now. We, now we can check whether uh, Apache service is running well. Pipe next set. PA. Correct. Yes, now it's listening on port 80. Furthermore, you can check whether it's running by uh, creating a uh, creating an index file, index.html file inside the www.html directory.
now let's head over to uh, web browser check whether it's running yes web server is running here now we can uh, move into uh, next step okay uh, now i'm going to install uh, php and uh, required php dependencies uh, which required to run uh, sabix frontend uh, here uh, php use uh, gather matrices from uh, mariadb database and process to display dynamic content uh, via apache uh, web server so uh, let's start let's do the installation Okay, now installation has been completed. Then we need to configure PHP INI file with these variables. Go to PHP INI file. Max execution time. I'm going to change into 600. Max input time changing to 600 memory limit uh, memory limit uh, will be 1024 gigabytes max uh, post max size 32 MB upload max size 2 MB and then we need to set the time zone in here you can set your time zone and save and exit then uh, we need to check uh, php uh, if the php running well i'm going to get php info.php file inside www.html directory now it has been created then uh, let's go restart again now let's head over to web browser and type info.php in here you can see php is running well as the next step we need to install and configure MariaDB as a, our database. So I'm going to install MariaDB here. Okay, uh, then uh, we need to allow MySQL service uh, through the firewall. Uh, then we can start the service and enable the service yes, it's running now now uh, we need to secure mysql uh, installation uh, and we need to set password into mysql root account mysql secure installation press enter yes Set your own password. We need to log into the MySQL root account. Okay, now I'm going to create a Sabix user and database. Uh, so in this time, I'm going to uh, I'm going to create a Sabix database name Sabix DB. And I have created the Sabix user. You can define password here. Oh, 
okay and now i have completed the installation of lamp stack uh, which includes uh, apache php mariah db and uh, now we can go to straightforward into the uh, sabix package installation and configuration okay let's move on to next step uh, first of all we need to import uh, pgp trusted signing key before the installation then i'm going to install the repository configuration package for sadix and here you can see i'm going to install the big sadix release 4.4 okay uh, now we can install sabix server okay uh, finally uh, we need to import sabix uh, server database schema sabix schema file you can find in this directory user share doc sabix server mysql in here now mysql minus u with user and key from the password and database name that is db Okay, now uh, all the services are running well. Now uh, we are almost ready to complete this edit server setup. Uh, let's head over to a web browser and enter Sabix server IP address. Okay. Click next and check whether all the requirements has been satisfied okay we are good to go database name public user username the password and then provide the name okay uh, now we have completed our server configuration finish in here initially you need to use admin as your username and Fabix is the default password in here you can see Sabix server is running okay uh, now Sabix server configuration has been completed uh, so I think this may be helpful for you okay thank you very much goodbye